Hey guys, it's Sam and Copper. We are part of Kim and Kiva's therapy dog team. And today we wanted to read a story about how important it is to adopt dogs that need homes. So Copper was adopted six years ago. She was rescued by a group called Last Hope Canine Rescue. And they are from Boston, Massachusetts. And they rescue hundreds and hundreds of dogs every year. So we wanted to talk about how important that is. So the story that we're going to read today is called Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you on that. Who's the good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. So here is their letter back to him. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. So here's his second letter. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. So here he is trying to get the butcher shop lady to adopt him. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking a pooch. Veronica Shank, the butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck on finding your home. So there's Arfi having a little snack from the butcher. So now he's going to ask the fire department to live with them. Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest, Arfie. So here he is getting his letter delivered to the fire department. So here, they're going to write their letter back. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working at the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. So you can see Arfie is not being very nice to the fire hydrant. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not going to lie, you're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfe. So now he's trying to get the Junkyard Guy to adopt him. Here's his response, and it's not very nice. Dear Mutt, get lost. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds, and your windows are broken, and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely, Arfie. So he's trying to get this house, which is kind of broken down, to adopt him. And they've returned it. Nobody lives at that house. So now Arfie is sad and crying in the rain. So he's in the rain. 
He's sleeping by himself in his cardboard box all alone. And then he wakes up and he's got a letter stuck to his box. So let's see who the letter is from. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everybody on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, the letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. So it looks like the lady who delivers mail wants to adopt Arfie. So here she is. She's waiting at the mailbox, waiting for Arfie to make a decision. And here he comes running, giving her a big fat kiss. And here is Arfie's response. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. So here she is scratching his head after he says yes. And that's the end of our story. So I hope if you guys ever consider getting a dog, you get a nice rescue like Copper and save all the dogs that need a home. Thanks for listening today, guys. Bye.